coming to you from DSU Channel 41 and go to Channel 144 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're joining you on TV. We're also on YouTube. We're streaming live and you can catch us. We're joining you live. My name is Mapisa CBD. This is Joy News Interactive. It's Thursday, so we, you know we're talking about all things tech. So stick and stay. I'll be back after this. It's Thursday and you know what that means, we're talking all things tech. As we know, we're talking about coding and sometimes called computer programming. But that is not my spec, Spikey will join me after this quick break so we can discuss all things code. Welcome back from the breather. You're still watching Joey's Interactive. My name is Mapita CBD and on Thursdays, a young, uh, handsome gentleman um, joins me in studio and he goes by the name Spikey Kobe Nkrumah. Ladies and gentlemen, my tech geek for today. What up, what up, what up, what up? Oh, wow. Hey, it's, do the uh, dance again, do the dance again. <laughs> wow, it's the shots for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the shots. Oh, red it, carpet. It, it's the shots for us. Hey, Mr. Director, hey, 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 hey. Okay, Spikey, focus, yeah. right. I'm focused, I'm Yeah, focused. all right, let's talk about coding. What is coding? Because, Charlie, the only, when you talk about coding, I just see one, zero, 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 one. Or, uh, yeah, that's all I see. That's binary. Zero, zero, what? one, zero, one, those yeah. are binaries. Binaries, yeah. okay, so and tell me what coding is. Well, you watched the video, and yeah. that was a very interesting video. It, it was very interesting when it talked about telling someone where to go yeah. and they having to you having to tell when they've never seen a car before. Yeah. I would have used the analogy of teaching, asking someone to go cook when they haven't ever seen what the vegetables look like. Yeah. They don't know what the utensils look like. That's how computers are. Yeah. So you need something we call critical thinking, you know, ability to solve problems and logical reasoning. Yeah. Because you need to know that that computer cannot think like you, the human being. If I tell you, go here, and you're going, and you meet this camera right in front of you, yeah. you would move away from it. Of a computer course. wouldn't do that. I would just go straight into it and keep trying to go until it, it crashes. Yeah. But if you tell it that, when you go and you see this thing, turn left. If you turn left and there's nothing else there, you can turn right and continue going. Yeah. But you see, you also have to even tell it to turn left. And when you say turn left, you have to indicate how much it should turn left by. Okay. And then when it turns left by that amount, you have to indicate how much it, it should, should turn, turn right, right by. Yeah. All those things, you have to be specific with them. And that's how important coding is. Okay. It took lots of people to learn how to program your phone that you're holding yeah. to know that if I press this part of the screen, it says one, yeah. then you represent one on the screen. On the screen. Now, imagine if nobody had told a computer that was this area. You'd be touching here. You know when your screen gets broken, you're touching yeah. one and, and it's then, pressing yes. three. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's because, what happened with one of my screens. My uh -huh. phone fell. So I'm trying to press one, but seven is appearing. Exactly. One, but seven is appearing. Because yeah. the marker or where it knows one yeah. to be has shifted. Okay. So to it, you're pressing one. So imagine if it had a mouse and say, hey, I'm pressing one. Yeah. What are you telling me? You know, but that's what it is. So, and right now, a lot of, you know, because we can't, there's a lot of social distancing, we can't be going to school and everything. There's a lot of online courses people can take. Mm -hmm. And coding seems to be one of the thing, one of the skills that if you have, it sets you up to, you know, you know, it, it makes your CV very impressive. Okay, so talking about making my CV very impressive, mm. I just want to, before we continue and we check out the websites where we can learn coding, two reasons why I should learn coding, why people should keep on watching the show uh, if they want to learn how to code. Why, why should I learn coding? Well, one thing, computers are taking over the world. They're okay. taking over jobs. Yeah. And it's going to take someone to know how to program the computer to take over that job. Okay. Because we're, it, it's more efficient when computers are doing things. Computers are doing surgeries. Yeah. Cars are driving themselves. Yeah. Drones are doing deliveries. Imagine all the Okada guys doing deliveries are soon going to be out of job in other countries where technology has advanced. Okay. I had to state that because in Ghana, we still have a long way to go. To go, yeah. But Imagine a time when drones have to do delivery. Someone has to program those drones. I see. Imagine a time when we can sit in a bus and it's automated. It takes us to our de destination. destination. That bus driver is going to be out of job. Yeah. Someone is going to have to program that bus. You know, all that stuff. Even a company where you work, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you're a data entry person. A computer, a software is going to be developed that can just, all you have to do is just feed in the, the paper and it scans it and grabs the data and fills a form. Yeah. And that's it. Someone comes, comes to sit in front of it. In fact, some banks, you go there, you don't even have to talk to a teller to deposit a check. 
you put a check in the ATM, and then it just doesn't work for you. You want to cash you know, a check, you put a check in, enter all your details, and then your, check, your, check, your cash comes out, yeah. right? Someone has to program that. Now that person, that teller would soon be out of job, but if that teller was a computer programmer using that skill of accounting and you know, money telling and all yeah, that, yeah, yeah, could yeah. program that machine okay. or could program that computer. Okay. See? All right. And yeah, so I guess, have you seen the movie Hidden Figures? Have I? No, I haven't. With uh, Taraj P. Henson. Yes. And see it. I, 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 yeah, so all I know is the synopsis. I think, you know, three powerful women, black women, mm -hmm. uh, something about space. And, yeah, they were yeah. working in a space center. Yeah. And they were doing data entry, and then now they bought computers. And they were not used to the computers. computers. Someone had to learn how to program. So one person learned, and she taught all the other Everyone ladies. Else. Yeah. And then they advanced. Those who did not learn, how to program the computers, they were out of job, yeah. you see? So sometimes you may have a skill you don't know, but applying coding to that skill can you make could be the better. next billionaire, you know, who knows? Okay, all right. So this is why you need to stick and stay on Joy News Interactive right now. We're talking coding, all things coding. Two reasons, computers are taking over, okay? So you want to be ahead of that. And the second one, it will make your uh, CV, CV look impressive. impressive. Yeah. All right. So, which websites do I go to if I want to learn how to code? So, I'll start with the first one. edX. edX as an E D X okay. dot org. So, it's a site where you can, you know, take courses in programming. So, there are different courses, and the the advantage of edX is that you can learn a lot of things. Yeah. But this is where it starts. So you have Python, that's basics for data science. Mm -hmm. Now, for those who want to learn artificial intelligence, which mm -hmm. is one of the things that is growing, you need to know Python. Now, if you learn Python and you have Python and you want to go into data science, you want to able, be able to use data science in yeah. your field of study, you can learn Python. Yeah. And from there, you know, you have other courses, all these, there's even uni, um, UX design, which is user experience design. Mm -hmm. So this website, is a user experience. I'm, if we were supposed to look at the code and browse the website with the code, it wouldn't be nice. But mm -hmm. there's a user experience design. Someone has to learn how to make the user experience you know, interactive, look good. So when people are using your app or using your, your website, they enjoy it. Now that's someone's job. So maybe you're a graphic designer and you know that, hey, I can make this app that I'm using look better. That's yeah. user experience design. You can learn, you can take a course in user experience design and then start designing apps. You don't even probably have to learn how to code. You just need to design the outline. Yeah, but you need yeah. the, the fundamentals of programming to know that this app that you're designing makes sense. Okay. It will work. Okay. Right? And then there are other courses that you can also, there's even analyzing data with Excel. Yeah. You know, we're always- So, so one thing I, I know about myself, Excel, so we had to learn that uh, in university mm -hmm. uh, for like budget production and budget. That is one thing I cannot do. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't use Excel. Like it's the most, I, I just can't. So mm. I should uh, check that out. So yeah. the first one is edX. edX, edX. 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 There's so many courses, com. not limited okay. to even programming. Yeah. But if you want to learn programming and coding and over there, you can learn a lot of coding over there. Now there's this one, coderina.org. Uh -huh. As you can see, they're all .orgs. It means that they are non-profits, they're organizations. I see. And like companies which are profitable companies. Okay. So, edX, uh, sorry, Coderina is also a website that is actually tailored to Africa. So they want to help, they want to teach the Africans, they, want, they are providing free education, free online education. You can take these courses on Coderina. So, you can, the uh, e-learning platforms, uh -huh. private virtual tours. So, yeah. And even for teachers who want to learn so that they can impact that, le that, that knowledge, yeah. you can go there, sign up, and then see, you have, you can, there's a course on emotional intelligence, there's a uh -huh. course on coding, Python for teachers, coding scratch for teachers, design thinking, you see design again. Design is very import important. And then computational teaching, oh, right. thinking, sorry. That's also for teachers. Now, so when you go to Code Arena, you have all these sites, yeah. all these um, courses that you can take for students and teachers. So you can check that out. Next, Google's very own Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Yeah. Now, Google wants people to learn the code that a lot they use primarily. Yeah. And that's why they created Grasshopper. And that's a fun way to learn how to code. Yeah. So Grasshopper, this is what it looks like. So you have challenges, you're learning variables. And all you have to do is it's an app that you can download on your phone and then use it to learn how to code. 
And see, as you can see, you can even do it on your on your PC. I, okay, so I just want to ask, there's this maybe misconception or whatever. Okay, let me say, I think that for you to know how to code or to learn how to code mm -hmm. or to be part of the coding business, you need to be great at maths, mathematics. Mm -hmm. how, how true is that? How false is that? What, what, what's the take on that? Do I have to like be fantastic at mathematics? Because no. No? No. All right. So I mean, I can nobody's holding a gun to your head not to use a calculator. You just need to understand the concept. You need to know what 2 plus 2 is. You need to know uh, a few things. It depends on what you're actually doing. But, but like, so my mathematics, you know, is, is I mean, I'm embarrassing Maps. myself on Maps. national Maps. What is 2 plus 2? It's 4. Exactly. Okay. What is 4 plus 4? Please, we have stopped today. But why not? <laughs> Because you can actually you know, take a calculator and do it. It's not, it's not, okay, it's not okay. But, but So in terms of mathematics, you don't need to be like really great at it? or reason I said you just need to understand the concept uh -huh. is depending on what you're doing. So remember when I was talking about getting a computer or a robot yeah. to move in a direction and take a turn, right? You just need to know how many degrees you want it to turn, okay. right? And when you take a protractor and then you put a protractor down, you know that, oh, this is 90 degrees. This is I wanted to turn this yeah. way. You know, this is 0, 45, 90. Yeah. That's it. Okay. It's that simple. Okay. And See, like I keep okay. saying, nobody's holding a gun to your head. Mm -hmm. You don't have to impress someone that, oh, I know all these things off head. Matter of fact, most coders always refer to other people's to co code or they go and read about it. Okay. You're, you're programming and get to a bottleneck. What do you do? Go research. Hey, how do you do this? I'm trying to do this. We all do it. Every coder okay. does it. Okay. No coder has the code for this whole website in their head from beginning to end, and they start coding, and you're going to get somewhere, and you hit a bottleneck, or you yeah. hit a, you know, a brick wall. Brick wall. You're like, uh, how do I do this? Probably pick up the phone, and then call Someone. my friend, Salom. Say, yo, Salom, um, I'm trying to change this variable over here, but yeah. X is not... Yying and Y, and y is, is not, not Xing. Xing. So okay. what do I do? He's probably experienced it before. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Listen what? This. Change this over here. Okay. You do it, and it works. So you move on. Okay. Right. Yeah. All that is important is that you have the concept. You understand what you're doing. Okay. And then you move on. So this is Grasshopper. Yes. Which... The coding app for beginners. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. uh, on the website it says, learning to code expands your work, develops new skills, launches new careers, creates new hobbies opens new doors, expands your network once again, develops new skills. So if that's what you're trying to do, launching a new career, developing your skills, you know, maybe getting a new hobby, coding is the place to be. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, this is a testimony. Let's, yeah, let's, 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 read testimony. Yeah, let's just read sure. one testimony. So I like Grasshopper because it allows anyone with or without experience in coding to jump right in and have fun. And then this one says, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is the most user-friendly interactive app where challenges are structured, like fill in the blanks puzzles. Okay, so some, <laughs> some, some interesting far. stories yeah. com coming up. Mm. Grasshopper showed me that no matter what or who I look, anyone can learn how to code. It's exciting. It opens up a whole new world to, for me. So if that's the type of things you're looking for and challenging yourself, really, coding is like the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like we said when we began the show, that computers are taking over, you know, so you want to be one step ahead. You don't want to be left without a job. <laughs> All right, so from Grasshopper 2. Code Jika. Code Jika. Yeah. Okay. You should, what's Jika? G, okay, so Jika in Zulu, yeah. which is Jiga, Jiga. is to, to like turn. Right. Which, which is very interesting because like Jiga, like you were telling that you have to yeah. tell the computer the to, turn to turn yeah. left or robots to turn left, right? Yeah, so in, in Zulu, uh, South African language, to Jiga is to Jiga See? or to Jiga. See, so we're right on track. Jiga. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, Jigaing. We're Jigaing, <laughs> that's right. You know in Ghana, when you say Jiga, uh -huh. you say you mean. You mean the thing. You mean the thing. Hey, Jiga, you make a gray. So, you see, on Interactive on Thursdays, it's not like we're just learning tech talk. Even languages come in. Oh, languages kakra, tech kakra. Oh, challenge. And then boogie kakra. And boogie kakra. Oh, <laughs> it's a, why are you solid? Challenge, uh, why are you solid? Yanko, let's continue. So, uh -huh. In Kojika, you have courses for schools, businesses, and you even have resources. Like I mentioned, maybe you're learning to program and then you need something. You can go to a resource and a full curriculum mm -hmm. that you can download offline 
to use. Maybe you're teaching and you need a, on, the curriculum. Okay. So you, there's even a five minute website that break, they claim it breaks all the rules, but it's the best way to start. Uh -huh. so you're probably going to take five minutes to learn how to build a website okay. on Jika. Okay. So you can, you, can you can take all these courses online from all, so you see, uh -huh. now that's how it is. So you get this site over here, which is where you're going to enter the code. Yeah. And then everything that you enter is represented over there. Okay. So maybe yeah. I should try this. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. So let's open the keyboard. Keyboard, yeah. And this is going to be difficult using, an <laughs> but I'll try. Okay. So H1. Yes, H1 is a heading. So I'll do H1. And so type H1 in the editor below. Yep. So so they, they, okay, so this is a challenge and they're taking you step by step, right? So I typed H1 uh -huh. and then I got a tick saying that, hi. I, hi. I did it. I did it. So I say, yes, I did okay. it. Good job. That's a great start. So I click next to view the next slide. Okay. And then I'm learning HTML. HTML is the backbone of most websites. Yes. So that's the, the, the markup language. HTML means hypertext markup language. That's the language that's used to program most websites. Okay. So HTML be basics there. there. There it is. HTML is a website structure, the skeleton. So you can see the skeleton over there, the head and then the body. Yeah. So we click next and it works like this. H1, so the opening and the closing tag. Uh -huh. Now this is very interesting because it's just teaching you in five minutes the basics of Code. HTML. Yeah, of yeah. HTML. Which okay. is the language used to build websites. So H1, so I'm going to continue and I says to type, I'm going to type map pizza. Okay. Or maps. Or maps. Okay, so okay. I'll do maps. Yeah, okay. Maps, yeah. And then close it. Close so it. you remember they showed us the closing tag. Yes. So I'm going to put a closing tag. Which is the there, H1, right? Which is the H1 with the slash. With the slash, See? okay. So okay. type your name and add an H1 closing tag. And I just did that. So they gave me a tick. Tick, uh-huh. And then you see what I just typed. So if I had typed it without the H1, this would have been in very small letters. Oh, okay. You see? Okay. So H1 is a heading. So it's a heading one. So oh, okay. H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. I see, I see, I see, I see. It gets smaller yeah. with every single. So you're done. Just click, I, I did, did it. And it says, good job. Now we insert some styling with CSS. Now CSS is cascading style sheets. So when you go to every single website and you see all these nice things, uh -huh. that's styling, that's CSS. Uh -huh. All the scrolling stuff, that's CSS, that's making okay. that happen. Yeah. So when we go back, it says, are you ready? Of course, we're ready. We're ready. So we'll start with the style. Okay. So. Do we even have enough time? We have three minutes. Okay. Actually two. Then let me just skip through it. Okay. So this will add a beautiful background color to your website. It's worth it, I promise. So you type the a body tag. And, and, and just to, to mention it again, this is code Jiga. Yep. Or code Jika. Uh, it takes you through the challenges so that you can learn how to code in like five minutes. All right. So it has like 32 slides and you can just walk through it and it will tell you what to do from the beginning until the end. So we're just doing a, you know, a quick run through of uh, the challenge. Uh huh. So Spikey. Yeah. So. I'm trying to move the cursor. Yep, I moved it. Okay. Hit enter, go back, open it, body, and then type. So what are we, this is what, for our styling? Yes, for our styling. Body. So we're okay. going to add a background to our website. Yay, so we've done it. I did it. Uh -huh. Tell them I did it. And so style. So we go back into the body. Oh, wow. And then you add the style. So style. Okay. Equal to. Then you add the quotes. The quotes. And then. But my name just disappeared. What happened? Yeah, because we're now about to style it. And oh. I haven't closed the body. So when I close the body, that's when. So you see, it's closed it for me. So style, background, uh -huh. pink. What's your favorite color maps? Uh, we'll take black. Okay. Yeah. So background black yeah but that means that the text would also disappear because the text is already in black ah uh, okay so background colon okay so let's use a different color let's do yellow let's do yellow yeah yeah yellow no that's not the yellow i want to type all right so you can use the skill to make websites and apps and process data you can, you know, if you want to create a new, if you want to have a new hobby, 
to upgrade your CV, that's what you can do to you know, like if you want to learn how to do mm -hmm. uh, coding. All right, so this is how it looks right now. Yep. The yeah. When I finish typing yellow, uh -huh. see the side where yellow is. Yellow is. Yeah, it's changed to yellow. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that is coding for now. That is like the basic concept of coding for now. With Kobe Spike and Kuma. Yes, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having I've me. I've learned so much, and I think I will start uh, my coding uh, education on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Spiky, sure. we're starting on Monday, we're coding. So we gave you the website, but if you want to check it again, you can go to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're Joy News on TV. We're also on YouTube. We're Joy News on TV. My name is Mapita CBD. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm.